Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Keto Food Review, where today, today, we got something new that could be game changing for my snack game, okay? I've seen this advertised a lot, I have high hopes for it, let's dig into it. Pardon me, buddy, pardon me, you're fine. Alright, Milo gave birth to scissors, I hadn't even opened it yet. Now, the first thing is first. I like a company that makes a statement as soon as you get the box, okay? The whole fact that they went above and beyond did the whole printing on the box, that's just a bonus point to me. I'm not gonna lie. I like people that do that. If they ship it in a plain brown box, I'm gonna be like, what package is this? No, I know what this is. We got eight. All right, so here's what's going on here. It's called Flock, it's chicken chips. And I, I'm interested in the ing okay, well that's interesting. The ingredients of this are just chicken skins, salt, and soybean oil. That's it. If we're going into the nutrition facts, this is why this is the keto game changer if it's really good. 14 grams of fat, zero carbs, 13 grams of protein, and that's amazing. Even the sodium's not that high, it's only 105 milligrams. Cholesterol, on the other hand, he's a little up there, but that's okay. And you know what, they have a little story on here, let's go and do a story reading. We love chickens and we're pretty sure you do too. Sorry vegans. However, enjoying one of our favorite foods, mess free and on the go is much tougher than it should be and we're here to change that. Introducing Flock Chicken Chips, super tasty, crispy chips made from real chicken. Our premium and flavorful chips pack a delicious crunch that serve as a great on the go snack that can be eaten straight from the bag, as a salad topping, or even as an addition to a caricature, caric I think that's caricature plate. So I am very hungry. It's time to dine. First thing smell. It smells like uh, pork rinds, but something's just a little off, which is basically what they are. First impression? Uh, you ever been to Long John Silver's and you have those little crisps that are like in the bottom of the basket? Like, do you get like a fish or a chicken? That's what makes me think of, which means I'm probably going to love this. Well, that hit different than I expected. Let me go in for one more before I talk. Now, we need to take everything that I say with a grain of salt, okay? Because let me go ahead and disclaim, this is the original, okay? This isn't a flavored up one, this is just a plain old, plain Jane chicken chips, okay? I wanted to go with the base, so that way I had a pretty good understanding of what could be added to it. And let me tell you this, they're pretty damn good. Take a pork rind, and just change it a little bit, and this is what it is. And what I mean by that is it is super soft and tender. If you do not have teeth or you have trouble chewing, this is great for you. It's almost a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? It melts in your mouth. That's the best way to put it. It melts in your mouth. It's weird, but good. I was just expecting this to be a lot more potato chippy, and it's not potato chippy. It's very unique in its own way, and it, ju it just isn't bad. It just isn't. It's very, very good. I think if you were blindfolded, would you know that this is fried chicken skin? No. No, I think you'd be like, this is a potato chip that's just very lightly salted, a little thicker than normal, and just has a weird crunch to it with the whole melt in your mouth type thing. It's very much very mild when it comes to overall taste, and I think that that's great because they have the barbecue flavor. I think they have a salt and vinegar flavor as well. And really, if you were to add anything, you could probably even like microwave these and dip these in something, and it would be absolutely awesome. And the amount that you get per bag, honestly, isn't that bad either. It, it's, a, it's a pretty good portion. Now, if you have one of those complexes of, I don't like eating animal skin, I'll eat the animal meat, but as soon as you go to frying the skin, it's a little bit weird for me. It might be a little bit hard for you to get past that, but if you can get past that fact, that's what you're eating it's really good it really is it's crispy until you bite into it and then once you bite into it it melts in your mouth it's absolutely delicious it really is and i do think that this is pretty game changing because this is a completely guilt-free snack that you can have on keto you got zero carbs you got a bunch of fat and you got a bunch of protein going into your mouth in a single bag and that's the whole thing this is 13 grams of protein in a bag that's great <laughs> But overall, from what I'm hearing, the company is pretty small, and 
I personally will probably continue to support these guys. I definitely want to try the barbecue and see how that is now that I know what the base is. And I definitely, definitely am interested in seeing what more things this company can do. Overall, though, 9 out of 10. I'm actually going to give it a whole 9 out of 10. Nothing in this world is ever perfect, but this comes pretty dang close. And I think it's the combination of it being so unique and then so keto friendly is what really makes this for me. It's so unique and game changing that you could have this as a side dish, you could have it as a snack. This is game changing for what you can add in, and include into your regular diet. You could crush these up and end up using them as a breading for something. There's just a lot you can do with this that goes above and beyond the other things that I've reviewed so far. I definitely think this company's on to something. I think that if they were to season it up just a little bit more, I think it'd be even better, but it doesn't need to be that seasoned, mostly because that's just a personal preference. I think if they were to go ahead and season even more, uh, it could get a little bit too salty for some people. This is very much a universal amount of seasoning. I think that they have it nailed. But see, when I review things like SlimFast, where it's just one small little thing, and then these guys have something that I'm still working on, like here, 10 minutes later, it's that's just a good sign because we like to eat. We're humans, we like to eat. And as I'm getting to the bottom of the bag, I'm getting some saltier pieces. Overall though, nine out of 10, I really like it. I definitely think that anyone who's on keto, or if you're just on a regular food, like if you just want something different and tasty, this is good. I think this would be good for any anybody to eat. This doesn't have to just be a keto thing, but it's very, very great for keto people. So honestly, I love it. I want to see more from them. I want to see what else they can do. But that's going to do it for this episode of Keto Food Review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys back here in the next episode. Where let me give you a little hint. We're doing one of these. See you next time.